Fortnite Summer. Summer Update. <laughs> Today will be an extremely fishy day. From the coral queen to the angry fish who died once, once again, and almost died here too. What's up with Donald Mustard and killing so many fishes? Someone keep this man away from water, goddamn! We got so much storyline on the side of the trigger fish and the coral bodies, or even how there is a chance of coral castle actually returning. Hey, chill, calm down, down, put your buckets away! It will probably be like a remake, way cooler than this. Oh, and I said buckets because we're getting a croissant. Free back pulling and a free French bucket. Mamma mia. Perfect for beating some ass, especially the ones on Twitter, not believing the five realities. Imagine the skill issue is over 9,000. New Optimus Prime com talks, revealing more secrets about the map. Fixing up the telescope even more. So let's pay respect to all those fish pets you got that probably they're all dead now. Fishes don't age that much. And also pay respect to finding Nemo cause Nemo is dead. And Dory. And he's dead. Shit, probably all of them. In this summer update, Riptide and his ego variant are racing for who can get the most coral fishes. Whatever they catch, they take into a cave carved inside of a huge ice, keeping it there for a while. You can even meet one of them per match at this location, talk to them, or even buy some fishes. Those probably were brothers and sisters of fish stick. Mego's favorite meal, yum! Turn them families into sushi! Princess of the coral and this castle Breen senses her coral body is being in great danger. So she tasks Optimus Prime to save him. And he says, Riptide must be stopped no matter the cost. I wish man, imagine Optimus Prime being tasked to search for fish. Pick Transformers lore. For real this time, the person who Princess gets help from is actually Trigger Fish. Trigger Fish who probably is going through zero war flashbacks right now now. He asks us to help him with this task but we have to prove him we can do it first. Once that's done and we talk with the princess, Trigger Fish asks for help from the luminaries and we get the technology needed for figuring out what's going on. Those technologies we get from the luminaries are extremely similar to the ones used in the IO bridge for scanning and learning everything about any object. And we use it here to do the same thing, scan some corals for information. This either means that a faction of IO comes from the Mega City and the Luminaries who build IO most of their technology. Or this is just a reused asset. Tell me in the comments which one you think it is. After the scan is done, we learn the dangers against the corals. And it is, as I said, Riptide and his ego version capturing these coral bodies. So we have to fight them, kill, and finally free the corals, bringing them to the trigger fish. Trigger Fish's base is this thing which had the radio station with the same walkie talkie that the Sloan uses. These walkie talkies being the same ones as the Sloan is probably because they all come from the luminaries and the explorers. So probably Fish Stick uses it to talk with them. All of the corals we have saved also line up near a huge coral plushie. I don't know if they're trying to like protect it or what. Like, do they think this thing is like their god being that big or I have no no clue anymore. They all probably gonna turn into sushi by Megolu anyways. Now, why are these quests even important to the story? Or even how a new island has popped up with new tree props, probably teasing the desert coming next season. And even coral things returning on it. Well, first of all, remember that every single storyline quest matters in this game. Some are easy to understand how. And some like this fish one have hidden meanings, teasing things happening in the future of Fortnite. Until the jungle was revealed, there was no 
Koros anywhere on the map. But now, Fistic was shown as a big focus of the season 3 storyline in the story trailer. Exploring with the Luminary members. And we saw how he even took technology from the Luminaries in the quest too. Don't forget how he also was the one picking up the Optimus Prime Mythic, bringing my man here. To make us wish this dude was banned from saying the word come. I've come. I am coming. Let them come. The time has come. Stop it. This thing teleports beings from other realms. How the ice near the jungle is melting right now and the coral body is their princess return and much more. These all are showing me how there is a hidden coral castle again somewhere under the island. And what did we just learn with season 3? There are some hidden locations under the big empty parts of the frozen realm. This huge snowy cave with frozen ground and a single tower in it felt completely Really useless, but we learned how there was something hidden under it, a hidden world. And yet another huge empty massive chunk of like frozen lake ice on the map right now is the frozen lake. Once the jungle got revealed, the parts near the frozen lake broke off, allowing a huge amount of fresh water to leak out of it, leaking out like a river. This shows us how much unfrozen water is filled under that lake to keep the river gonna stop going. And don't forget how again the ice near this jungle is slowly melting because of how hot this jungle is. The ice is melting looking at them god dang hot graphics of course oh my god my eyes they're liquiding. But seriously this jungle has a huge connection to fire. They manipulate fire. They hold fire in their hands. Their only remaining person has a love on his suit and this and a damn volcano emoticon. Showing how the volcano happening next season is because of the jungle connection to fire. But more on that in the next video, subscribe not to miss them. For now, this jungle's connection to fire is why the ice near it is melting. And there is even a loading screen in the battle pass showing a flood happening, water taking over the jungle. So we could very well see this whole lake on freeze, its water leaking into the jungle to be consumed by the trees later, revealing a hidden world under this lake. A world which this fish quest, the coral return, the return of their princess. And so much more is hinting how it is the hidden underwater world of Coral Castle 2.0. That means that the coral and the fish people are either from the jungles or they're from the under ice waters of the frozen reality. To me, I think they're from the frozen reality especially because of this season 3 5 realities discovery I have made but it could also be the jungle tell me which one you think it is in the comments there is even a new chaos diver skin made for my man because he wants to study the underwaters of this island to find its secrets since he's a crazy scientist which again that hints to the hidden underwater world even more now think of this chaos agent one of my Midas's first shadow agent, Midas's cat being the secret skin, new jewels skin with a suit same design as the farm, this fisherman being part of ghost and shadow having a storyline again. Everything is telling us how Midas's return should be extremely soon. Now and was another huge hint that we got towards Midas. That was with the snap skin in season 3 chapter 3 and this is season 3 chapter 4. Snap Toxic is a storyline about being thrown away and building himself up while he even talks about Midas in his music pack. Now, what was the big focus of Season 3's Battle Pass? It was on the Mega City and reality. Having members of this realm or even the introduction of Peace Syndicate and Eevee and others. Snap was in the same Battle Pass with his final styles all being golden with even a golden skull famous as Midas' tattoos. But not only that and how he talked about Midas in his music pack. There is even a golden X. X is yet to be revealed and he is one of the highest ranks within Mega City, being especially the boss of Peace Syndicate. He even has huge connections to exploring with a compass tattoo and probably he has gotten his like golden curse for a lost treasure. Oh my I have missed you! Come back already! 
we're gonna see how your sims all have become ageless simps. Kill them all. I'm kidding. Now it's time for more Optimus Prime lore. Those who lived here long ago discovered a secret hidden among the stars. The artifacts they left behind will guide you. The things Prime said are the things we have already heard from Sloan and others. That is because Sloan and Prime communicate a lot, and they're helping each other discover secrets to protect Reality Zero from the return of the last reality. Prime talks about how the people of the jungle found secrets among the stars. First of all, he's talking about how the jungle people are building this telescope and seeing things that nothing else is able to see. So there's there's probably gonna be many answers we get about the Fortnite storyline and its history when the telescope gets fixed. But this is not a basic telescope. If it was, I already has like many of those. I can myself if I go to NASA and learn the secrets of Fortnite using their telescope if so. This is a kinetic prism telescope. It manipulates light and see things nothing else can. The special thing about it should be how the telescope can see beyond just the reality it is in. And we know what's beyond our realities. There is a void keeping them separated from each other, a full dark darkness with no stars. That void is a nothing reality which all realms are created within it. And since those realms somewhat emit light looking like stars from distance, Optimus Prime saying among the stars could very well be talking about the nothing reality. Because what is among the stars? It is darkness and void. The stars are what fills the void and make it not be dark anymore. We are definitely going to see the nothing reality using this. And since all realities are within the nothing realm as I said, the secrets we find two of them should be these. One, the cube cradle and the last reality army coming towards us. And the other, the five realities. This telescope and the main reason it was made was to look into five things. And so the secrets we discover should be a full confirmation of the five realms so the people on Twitter can go think their rifles Bro, I'ma smack you with a bucket! Talking about fixing up the telescope, yet another kinetic ore prism has been found, making a total of three. You can find this one at the temple near a Sloan. If each of these are meant to be connected to one of the five realms, we have three, so I would say expect two more to be found. But it doesn't have to be five, so we have to wait to see. For now, we take this third one to trace yet again, and get more news on the progress of fixing the telescope. Oh, I smell some good news. Oh, for fuck's sake, just figure it out already. Give me some five realities or save me from Twitter, please. I beg. Some huge news and teasers you need to pay attention to is on how Fortnite is teasing the return of the singularity as the everything goddess. Last update, we got an emote asking for a singular sign. What? Who and the omniverse asked for? Like, can I have a singular sign? Who? This is obviously pointing out the name of singularity and I want to say how in this video of Donald Mustard telling us how Singularity is a huge storyline character, he has intentionally turned the video black and white too. And you can even see the last reality written on the background. The picture on this emote also is the season X loading screen, the season with a black hole happening in it, something that Fortnite also calls Singularity. And this loading screen is showing us the fall of night and the rise of the sun, night being the nothing and light being the everything goddess singularity. Now yet again, just like this emote, Fortnite is teasing the return of singularity, both emotes having a relation to the sun while doing it. Out of nowhere, a rift butterfly appears when using this emote and we know how the rift butterfly in season 6 highest chance that singularity herself. Please stop ignoring clear hints and teasers. Yes, you too clean. I'm in your walls. I know you're watching. 
God damn it, that was kind of weird. Oh my god. What's now if the theory of chapter 4 being reverse chapter 1 seasons is true? The last season of chapter 4 being season 5 would be the season 6 of chapter 1. And what happened in that season exactly? Yes, the rift butterfly appears. Also use code Cyan when buying this emote and the summer skins, it helps me out a lot. Now if you want to learn why exactly I called Singularity the Everything Goddess, click on this video on your screen. It will explain the three main gods of Fortnite. Everything, nothing and the spirit god. 